Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day 27 of the Lean and Clean Challenge. So I am going to be making a, a recipe from Kathy Fisher's Straight Up Food. Um, it's called tuna casserole. So it's like a tuna casserole, just without tuna. So we're gonna give it a shot. I'm actually making half the recipe because I don't know whether or not I'm going to like it. And so because I'm making half the recipe, um, if I don't care for it too much, then it won't be too big of a deal if I don't eat all of it. Um, so if you wanted to make a full recipe of this, double all the ingredients that I'm using. So first things first, I have a pot of water on the stove that is starting to boil. Well, it's not starting to boil. It's in the process of getting hot, so it's going to boil so I could cook some pasta. That's the first thing you want to do. And the second thing that you want to do is get all of your um, sauce ingredients together and you're supposed to let them sit for a little bit so that the cashews can start to soften, which I don't know if they're really gonna soften in cold, well, it's room temperature soy milk, but we'll give it a shot. So, in a blending container of some sort, however, whatever container it is that you wanna do, these are the sauce ingredients. So again, remember I'm using half of these ingredients. So, I want about a quarter of a cup of raw cashews. So, one quarter cup. And then, in there I'm going to put one and a quarter cups of unsweetened milk, whatever milk it is you choose. I'm using soy milk for this. There's, there's the quarter. <laughs> These jugs always splatter out and drives me nuts. I always try not to get them to splatter because I don't really want to make a huge mess everywhere. All right, one and a quarter cups. Ta-da! All right, so then you want one teaspoon of granulated onion, and I either have onion powder or chopped onion, so I'm just gonna use this. So I need one teaspoon of this. Okay, this stuff always smells so good. I love the way chopped onion smells when it's dehydrated. Mm, yummy. And then I need a quarter of a teaspoon of granulated garlic and a quarter of a teaspoon. It says ground white pepper. I don't have any white pepper, so I'm just going to use the black pepper that I have, but I'll measure it out this time. Um, I've made several of Kathy Fisher's recipes before and not done well with them in the past, and I think that's mostly me, not her. Uh, as in, I just wasn't ready for a fat, uh, completely sodium-free meal, so I'm hoping this one will go better this time, but I thought also maybe I'll follow the instructions all the way. That would be a good idea. So anyway, the next ingredient is three to four teaspoons of kelp granules. It says it's for a seafood flavor and it's optional. I have kelp powder instead of kelp granules. I really, I've added it to multiple different things. I've never liked it. So I really should just throw it away first of all. Um, but I do want it to have somewhat of a seafoody type flavor. So I'm gonna put one of these little nori sheets in the sauce. Um, I think one of them should be sufficient to give it just a touch of a, a fishy-ish type flavor without it being overpowering, and I know that I like the flavor of these. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to add one of these. So, nice little nori sheet. Just gonna fold it in a chunk and put it in there. So. All right, there's the sauce. You just let that sit for a little while until you're ready to uh, blend it up. So that's gonna go right there. And then the next thing you're going to, um, like I said, you're gonna cook some pasta and it calls for one and a half cups of uncooked pasta cooked. Um, I'm actually going to use these cute little shells. I thought that would be a good one for a tuna casserole. Um, and again, three quarters of a cup rather than one and a half cups because I'm going to divide the recipe in half. Um, it also calls for an for eight medium, um, let's see, eight medium or criminy mushrooms sliced. This is about three cups. It seems like a lot for eight little mushrooms. Anyways, and then um, one medium onion. So I'm going to go and chop up. You also have two cups of peas and two cans of garbanzo beans. So one cup of peas, one can of garbanzo beans. Uh, which you obviously have to drain, and a half of an onion, I guess, at this point. I don't think I have any mushrooms, so I'm going to go and check in the refrigerator and see if I have any, um, I don't even think I have any of the, what are those called? 
the enoki mushrooms i think i'm out of those too i need to go to the grocery store like for real so i'm gonna go chop up a few ingredients and get things going and i'll be back with you in just a little bit all right guys so i am now ready to start putting this all together and i thought that i would show you what we've got going on here so three quarters of a cup of pasta that's uncooked it doesn't make a lot for sure so anyway i've got that in my bowl in my pot that i use to cook it with i'm going to add in so I cooked the onions in a little pot on the stove, and then um, I did not have any mushrooms, so there's no mushrooms in there, though, although there should be. And then um, you're supposed to take the can of garbanzo beans, chickpeas, and you're supposed to mash them up. So you're supposed to have one can of those, mash them up, um, either in your food processor or with the masher, whatever. So I just dumped that can into my onions that were cooked. Um, so, and mashed them up in there. So I'm going to put that, the onion and the garbanzo beans that are mashed into my pasta. So that goes in there. And then you are supposed to put in one can, excuse me, one cup of green peas. Have probably about, probably about a cup in there. I'm just gonna use all the peas because I don't really wanna put that tiny little bit left away. So I put that in there. And then you are supposed to put in your um, sauce. So let's do that next. So I did blend it. It's pretty little greenish, frothy color. So I guess frothy's not really a color, is it? It's greenish. All right. And it does say on her thing that this is going to be very um, liquidy when you put it in here. And not to worry about it because as you cook it, it will thicken up, which sounds about right. Okay, well, it looks interesting. Come take a peek. So, got it all nice and mixed in there. Yeah, so you take this, you put it in the oven at 375 degrees, and you cook it uh, for 35 to 40 minutes. Do you, do you cover it? Uncovered for 35 to 40 minutes. So that's what that is. I'm gonna go stick that in the oven, and then when it comes out, I will show you guys. All right, I'm not 100% sure about this. It looks really good. Isn't that pretty? I'm not, I mean, it, it smells like tuna casserole, like for real. It totally smells like tuna casserole. Uh, that one nori sheet, perfect smell. So you can see the garbanzo beans, you can see the peas. Probably would be better with some mushrooms in it because you'd have that little bit of a spongy texture like a fish might be. Um, I did try it. I'm just not, I don't know, it's very mild. It's not bad at all, I just am not sure if it's good. It sure smells good, like it smells like a tuna casserole, it smells really good. Um, this is one of those type of things that I think that if you have been sodium free or salt free, added salt free for a while, you really should try this. Um, I think it would probably be a really good replacement for, um, like a, a tuna casserole and it's practically fat free. I mean, it's got a tiny little bit of fat from the milk, the soy milk that I put in there, but otherwise it's got very, 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 very little fat in it. Um, I just, I'm just not sure. I think that it's really good. I think it's really good. It's hot. I'm really not sure, guys. I think it tastes fine. Maybe when it's not so hot, I'll be able to easier to taste it. Okay, I don't know. I'll let you know later what I think about this when I eat it later. Um way more successful than the other few things that I've made from her before that I have not liked in the past. This is way better than those. Uh, so I think it has a lot to do with me and not anything to do with her recipes. I think that's totally my taste buds and not her recipes. I think her recipes are probably absolutely fine if this is the type of food that you're used to. I think this probably is really good. <clears throat> I'm right on the borderline of, <clears throat> excuse me, not knowing whether or not I like this a lot or whether it's just okay. And I think that has totally to do with my taste buds. So, 
If you're sodium free already and you have been for a little bit, really and truly try this recipe. I bet you'll like it. Um, it was really not, not hard to put together at all. So that was kind of nice. And I actually was thinking that um, next time I did this, if I made this again, I would just take the onions and boil them in with the noodles rather than putting them in a separate pan and getting another pan dirty. I don't see any reason to do that. So yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna pack up and get ready to go to lunch for, for get my lunch ready to go to work because I have to go to work now. So I'll let you guys know later. If this is like amazing when I warm it up in the microwave later or not. So who knows? Bye guys. Hi guys. So I am on, sorry, I'm all red. I'm itchy. I'm so itchy today. Oh my goodness. So I'm on my way home from work and um, I just thought I would give you guys a tuna casserole update. It was really good. Like it was really good. I enjoyed it um, more than I expected to, to be honest with you. Um, I had my husband tried it as well. I did ask him if he had tried it and he said that, I mean, he didn't eat it like a meal or anything, but he, um, had a couple bites before he put it away because I had left it on the, on the stove cause it was way too hot to put a, a glass container in the fridge. Anyway, so he tried it and he said it was really good. And I said, could you tell what it was? And he said, well, it was a pasta dish. <laughs> I was like, could you tell what it was flavor wise at all? And he said, uh, no, not really, but it was good. So I told him that it was like a tuna casserole vegan obviously and he said um, that yeah he didn't get tuna out of it at all um, which if he had known what it was maybe he would have been a little bit more yeah this is kind of like a tuna casserole I, I don't know um, but he just distinctly said that he didn't get a fishy flavor out of it at all but I really do think that I mean if you wanted more of a fishy flavor you just would have put in more nori sheets you know or use the kelp powder if you wanted to but like I said before I don't care for that kelp powder at all I'm not sure why I haven't thrown it out yet other than being a pack rat. I mean, that might be why. Um, maybe. But anyway, I really should get rid of it because it, it is kind of gross. But anyway, so that worked out really well. My husband thought it was good, so we might actually try making that again sometime. So that was kind of neat. Um, I saw, when I got to work, I hadn't eaten this morning. When I got to work, I ate that probably about like 7 or 7.30. So for breakfast, essentially. And then I had lunch at about 1.00. Um, maybe even a little before that, but I had my um, beefless stew from the day before that I had taken and not eaten, and it was again really good. Like the last few days' recipes that I've had have been really good. It was nice. I liked that a lot. So I am hungry again. It's about five o'clock, um, and by the time I get home, I, I will probably still be very hungry. So I'm going to make a salad. So I think I'll probably just make like a Buddha bowl type thing. I'm really wanting to have that. So. I'm going to make some um, uh, the organic ramen noodles that are just the rice and millet and then um, dump out. I have a, there was a bag salad on sale that was only $1.49 and they're normally like three bucks on sale. So that was cool. Um, so I need to eat it right away too, which just means that, you know, it's going to be bad here pretty soon if you don't eat it right away. So I'm going to eat that and then make probably a peanut butter type sauce dressing to put on top of it. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm really excited about it. I'm really, really interested in having a salad for supper. So when I get home and I'm working on that, I will let you guys know, and I will talk to you guys again in about an hour, which equals about a second for you. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hi, guys. So sorry about the background noise. My boys are watching the 1960s version of the movie Pollyanna. Um, for summer reading, one of my boys had to read the book um, and answer questions about it and stuff. And so um, we got the movie from the library so that they're watching it. I remember watching Pollyanna when I was younger. It was a cute movie. Um, I don't know about cute. It was a good movie. Anyway, I'm having the laziest Buddha bowl ever. It's really just a salad, guys. It's, it's really not a Buddha bowl. So I have a bag of shredded cabbage lettuce stuff, like I told you about. And then I put a whole bunch of corn on there and then some noodles on top of it. And this is nothing but peanut butter sauce, water, um, lemon juice. It was a lot. It was a lot runnier earlier. Um, lemon juice and a little bit of spicy sauce. So just a tiny little bit of sodium from the peanut butter. Um, that's about it. I'm going to put that on my um, salad, and I'm going to eat because it's going to be delicious. And that's what I'm going to go do. So I will talk to you guys again tomorrow, and I hope you had a fabulous day.